Get ready to upgrade your movie nights with the latest and greatest in home theater technology. Introducing the Sony Home Theater Soundbar System, designed to bring the cinema experience to your living room. With sleek design, powerful sound, and the latest technology, the system is the perfect addition to your entertainment setup for 2023. So sit back, relax, and let Sony immerse you in the ultimate audiovisual experience. We have included links in the description box. Let's get started. At number 1 is Sony HD A7000. The Sony HD A7000, with speakers plus bass module, is the top Sony soundbar that we have evaluated, with many parameters available to maximize the sound. The 7.12 arrangement offers you a flexible overall performance with everything from music to movies to TV shows. Sound field optimization, a feature common to most high-end soundbars, optimizes the bar's audio reproduction based on the particular acoustics of your home. The sound in the bar is generally balanced while it is on, so everything from the dialogue in your favorite movies to the instruments in your favorite music are audible and accurate in the mix. You experience the thrill of bass, heavy genres like EDM and action flicks, just as you would in a cinema theater, thanks to the subwoofer's rumble in the bass. Many popular audio formats are supported by the soundbar. You may listen to 5.1 surround sound content, such as Dolby Digital, and the built-in rear speakers give your audio a distinct, authentic sensation, making sound effects seem to be emanating from the area behind you. Additionally, Dolby Atmos is supported, allowing you to benefit from the more immersive object-based formats that are frequently seen on streaming platforms. However, no sound system is flawless. It's a good alternative, but there aren't many ways to alter the sound. You might experience a problem given the balanced sound it produces right out of the box. But if you enjoy customizing the sound of your bar, you might prefer the Samsung HWQ990B or the Bose Smart Soundbar 900 with speakers plus bass module. At number 2 is Sony HDA5000. Consider the Sony HDA5000 if you're seeking a less expensive option. It was introduced in 2021 as a mid-range option and a less expensive replacement for the Sony HD-A7000. The soundstage is smaller than the HD-A7000, so you don't quite get the same immersive experience, and it has one less HDMI connector. But other than that, the performance of the two bars is pretty similar. It supports Dolby Digital and Dolby Atmos content exactly like its more expensive cousin, and it offers the same range of sound improvement capabilities including Sony's Sound Field Optimization Room Correction Tool. Voices and lead instruments are reproduced clearly and correctly right out of the box, so you don't have any trouble following the action on your screen thanks to its balanced sound. If you don't have much room in your setup, a standalone soundbar like this is an excellent alternative. In spite of this, there are certain sound quality sacrifices if you utilize the soundbar alone. First of all, there's less low bass rumbling which is notably audible in scenes with action and soundtracks with lots of bass. Additionally, you don't get the same lifelike experience from surround sound content without rear satellites. Instead of emanating from speakers all around you, it appears as though they are in front of you. An advantage of this configuration is that you can always buy a different sub and satellites from the manufacturer separately, allowing you to update it for a more cinematic sound in the future if you relocate to a larger area. If you don't mind making the same sacrifice in sound stage performance, you might even discover that this bar offers a better value altogether. At number 3 is Sony HD-A3000, a 3.1 arrangement called the Sony HD-A3000 was released in 2022. It serves as a more cost-effective substitute for Sony's higher-end models the HDA5000 and HDA7000. In order to provide a more immersive listening experience, it supports Sony's virtual surround engine and S-Force Pro front surround technology like these other bars. The acoustic center sync feature on the compatible Bravia TV lets you use its speakers as an additional center channel. However, because it has to downmix more sophisticated audio formats like Dolby Digital or Dolby Atmos into stereo, unless you put on the independent satellites, the sound field optimization room correction feature is not available. To enhance its bass reproduction, you can also buy a matching subwoofer from the manufacturer. The Sony HT A30 is suitable for podcasts and TV programs with a lot of conversation. A dedicated center channel is incorporated in the 3.1 arrangement to enhance vocal reproduction. 
Although you detect a minor lack of detail due to the lack of treble, dialogue is reproduced with clarity and precision thanks to the balanced frequency response. However, if you'd like to stream podcasts and audiobooks over a wireless connection, there are many wireless playback alternatives accessible, and you can use its dialogue enhancement tool. At number 4 is Sony HTG700. The more affordable alternative from Sony's 2020 portfolio is the HTG700. This 3.1 soundbar straightforward design makes it simple to connect to your TV for better sound. Dialogue is accurately reproduced right out of the box, and lead instruments and voices are present and accurate in the mix. A dialogue enhancement option and a few EQ presets are available to change the sound. In contrast to the Sony HTA5000, it lacks a room adjustment feature. Therefore, the sound quality will vary slightly depending on your room. Nevertheless, this soundbar supports several of the standard audio codecs, including Dolby Digital and Dolby Atmos, that you are likely to encounter on streaming services. The built-in S-Force PRO virtual surround feature of the bar is intended to provide a more immersive sound. However, it must downmix them in order to play them. However, it can seem a little forced and false, and ultimately, it lacks the same cinematic flair as our top choices. Despite this, it's still a good option if you only want to replace your TV speakers and don't need any additional bells and whistles. At number 5 is Sony HDS40R. The Sony HDS40R combines rear speaker channels, a subwoofer, and a soundbar. The whole thing is cordless and made to deliver a rich surround sound experience. The system's 600 watts output is excellent for playing home music or viewing movies. The design of the amplifier is also extremely attractive. It is understated and sophisticated enough to fit well with the design of most rooms. Additionally, because the amplifier is only available in black, it complements other items in your living area, with very no setup required and a reasonable price. The product provides a surround sound experience. Additionally, producing outstanding low-frequency sound is the accompanying subwoofer. As a result, we could hear detailed sounds like pipes or movie explosions. We discovered the Sony HD Dolby S40R's audio capability during our evaluation, which is really helpful considering that the majority of streaming and broadcasting providers utilize it to encrypt their audio. Dolby Atmos is only available on more expensive models, therefore it isn't Dolby Atmos capable. It has 5.1 channels and is called the Sony HTS40R. This indicates that it contains a subwoofer and a total of five speakers. The additional speakers cover the rear while the soundbar plays the front center, front left, and front right sounds. The subwoofer can be put anywhere, however it works best next to the soundbar. You can have an immersive experience with anything thanks to the 5.1 channel system, including Spotify soundtracks and video games. Six settings are available for the sound system, regular, auto, cinema, music, voice, and night. Every mode has been tweaked to provide a unique listening experience. On a typical sound system, you could find the standard and auto for watching movies and listening to music, respectively. Both cinema and music are excellent. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.